So the question is, driving at a constant speed, Sharon usually takes 180 minutes to drive from her house to her mother's house. One day, Sharon begins to drive at her usual speed, but after driving one over a third of the way, she hits a bad snowstorm and it reduces her speed by 20 miles per hour. This time, the trip takes her a total of 276 minutes. How many miles is it from Sharon's house to her mother's house? A, 132, B, 135, C, 138, D, 141, or E, 144. So first you have to remember to find the time is equal to speed divided by distance to find the distance is equal to time multiplied by speed and this to find the speed is equal to the distance divided by time. Now we have to find the time of, of both parts. So first, if we find the part of this one over third part, it's 180 divided by three because here it says usually takes 180 minutes to drive from here to here. So one over three is 60. And then this part is 276 minus 60 is equal to 216 minutes. Now the answer. So first we could insert this the distance equals to speed times time times time. And then after we could, if we there's gonna be an equation and then we can find D. Now first let D be total the total distance, like a small D. Now let's apply the on the last slide, D equals to S times T to the two over three part where there was a snowstorm. Now D is equal to small D times two over three, or it could also be two over three D now. And then it could be the speed is equal to small case D divided by three minus 20, because this is the normal speed, and then minus 20 because of the snowstorm. And then the time is equal to 216 divided by 60 because of hours. And we do this because soon it's supposed to say like 20 miles per hour. Now, now we solve 40, 40 small case D is equal to D divided by three minus 20 times 216. So we just filled in the blanks. Now 40 D is equal to 216 D divided by three minus 4,310. So to get to this, this to this, oh, sorry, I missed divide by 60 here. So first we times 60 to both sides. So 40, what? Oh yeah, 40, first here we times 60 to both sides. So basically here there was two over three D times 60 is equal to 120 over three is also equal to 40 D. Now 40 D is equal to two, I mean, D divided by three minus 20 times 216. Now 40 D is equal to 216 D divided by three minus 4,320 because we used distributive and then 40 D plus 4,320 because we moved this to the other side is equal to 216 D divided by three and then 120D because times this three plus 12,960 is equal to 216D and then 12,960 is equal to 96D and then D divided by 96 is equal to 135D.